What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tevin Jameer back at it again. Alright, let's get into it. What's up, y'all? It's Tevin Jameer, and it's the end of the month, so y'all already know what it means. It means another Blu ray. Well, I got a DVD this time, but another DVD Blu ray update for the month of September. And like I said, man, you know, I always tell y'all that I don't make that much money, but. I actually did a come across a good amount of money this month, so I did get a lot more Blu-rays than I was expecting, but y'all know how I do it. I don't explain too much. I just get straight to the movie, so let's go. The first Blu-ray that we got is Cat in the Hat. Now, here's the thing about this Blu-ray. For one, I got this from Amazon, but I got this um, at the end of July, but it didn't get to my house until August, so... Yeah, basically, that's what the front cover looked like, <clears throat> the back cover, and then this is one of those boring Blu-rays where it's just like, you know, the disc and just the logo on it. I know a lot of people hate this movie, but y'all know the case with me. I love a lot of movies that people hate. This was my childhood right here. I remember having the original DVD when my mom bought it for me. Once again, I lost the movie, so I don't really know where it's at, um, but I said, you know what, now that, oh, a little bit of rapping still on there, but now that um, I'm older and I prefer Blu-rays more than DVDs, I said, you know what, I'll get this, and yeah, I've actually seen the movie pretty recently with my nephew, so I don't think I'm going to watch this for a while, but it is nice to have it in my collection, especially since this is a movie that I loved ever since I was young. The next movie, and this is the DVD in my collection, Teacher's Pet. If I don't know if you guys have ever seen the show on Toon Disney, and as you guys can probably tell, this is a pre-owned copy of the movie. I got this from Walmart. Um, not from the Walmart store, but from the Walmart website. Since I work at Walmart, you know, I get discounts and stuff like that. And I don't think this was at a discount, but basically, since I have, since I work at Walmart, we get Walmart Plus for free. And with Walmart Plus, you know, free shipping, discounts, all that and whatever. So I bought this through the Walmart website. Oh yeah, so this is the front cover. This is another movie from my childhood. I didn't even really watch the show like that when it was on Toon Disney, but I did watch a couple of episodes because of the movie, of course, but I seen the movie first. And yeah, this movie, I love this movie. And I think I told y'all before, I'm not a big fan of musicals. This movie is a musical. And, you know, like I said, it was good enough to put me on to the show. Maybe someday I can rewatch the whole show, but I've only seen a couple of episodes. But as far as this movie, this is one where you don't really need to watch the show to get the concept of the movie. Like, they kind of explain it pretty well, um, you know, in the movie itself. And I saw on the DVD that it does come with a bonus episode. So, yeah. I haven't seen this movie in a very long time, like literally since I was a kid. So I'm kind of going into this blind and I might actually watch it tonight after this, I mean, after I edit this video. So, and this is how you know it's a pre-owned copy. Look at that. If you guys can see it, the little ripped on the side, but I tested it out. Like I said, I always test out my DVDs and Blu-rays. I tested it out so I know it works, but yeah, Teacher's Pet, check that out if you've never seen it. The next movie I have is Kick-Ass, one of my favorite superhero movies, a very underrated superhero movie. At least when you look at the grand scheme of superhero movies, like this thing is very underrated. It's not like your typical, it's not like your typical Marvel or DC type movie. It's, it's definitely a very grounded look. I mean, until the end of the movie, it's definitely a very grounded look at what it would be like to be a superhero in the real world and stuff like that. Um, damn, this is how you know this movie was also pre-owned too. Look at that. It came with that. So one thing about me, I don't care too much about the packaging unless it's like a special edition of the movie. I don't really care about much of the packaging for it, just as long as the disc work. And yeah, obviously I tested it. I know the discs work. So that's the Blu-ray right there. 
that's the DVD, and this is the digital copy disc, which since it's pre-owned, so I don't know how that technically works with Blu-rays. Like, I know you can put the disc into, like, a disc drive and then, you know, put the digital copy onto a computer and stuff like that. But if someone already did that, I don't know if that still works. I guess you guys can let me know down in the comments, like, if I tried it, or maybe I might try it after I'm done filming this. But, yeah, I don't really necessarily know how that works. But, yeah, Kick-Ass, great movie. I'm thinking on whether I really want to get the second movie or not. Um, I have my ways of owning it if I really wanted to, but I don't know. Kick-Ass 2, it wasn't a bad movie, but I'm just kind of sitting here thinking to myself, is it really worth buying? But the first Kick-Ass, to me, is worth buying. So, yeah. The next movie in my collection is Ice Age 3, Age of, or dawn of the dinosaurs i was thinking of the other ice age movie but ice age dawn of the dinosaurs this was the third ice age movie and personally to me the last one that was con that i actually considered good um i think i showed y'all before i got the first two ice age movies already in my collection so truth be told the only other movie i cared left about getting in the series was this one i don't like the fourth movie and i didn't even want to give the fifth movie a try so maybe that's me being a little harsh like i should at least say that i watched the movie before just writing it off but yeah uh Okay, I'll actually get around to watching the fifth movie. If it's good, then I'll update my collection. If it's ass, I'm not going to bother doing that. But yeah, I truthfully only considered the first three movies, seeing how the last few didn't have a good reputation. But yeah, this one, another one from my childhood. I liked this movie a lot growing up. And for a long time, this was actually my favorite Ice Age movie. But now I would probably say... The first one is my favorite, with this being a very close second, and the second one being a very close to this one. So, this is what the uh, Blu-ray look like. Also, this movie is another case of me having it on DVD, then I lose it, and then I was like, you know what, let me just buy it again on Blu-ray. So, this is the Blu-ray. This is the DVD, basically the same thing as I had when I grew up, or when I was younger. And then this is the digital copy disc. So, yeah, Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. And like I always say, y'all, let me know how y'all feel about these movies down below. And, uh, you know, recommend movies and stuff to me. You know, I like the dialogue. Next, we have Step Up 3D, which, look at that cover. That cover is crazy. But, yeah, Step Up 3D. I had to get this version not necessarily because it comes with a 3D disc, a Blu-ray disc, a DVD, and a digital code or a digital copy. But I had to get this version because this was the cheapest option on the Walmart website. So, oh yeah, this is the back if I haven't shown it already. And yeah, personally me, out of all the Step Up movies, this is my favorite movie. But for some reason, it, it, it's this one is the most critically acclaimed and this is my favorite. But for some reason, it's so hard to find a good copy of this movie. And, you know, even though this one with the most critically acclaimed, it seems like the second one became the most iconic of, the th of all the movies. I was about to say of the three because the first three are the only ones considered decent by people. But yeah. That's the cover. Lionsgate is owned by Disney, so of course they went with the standard Blu-ray look. But that's the regular Blu-ray. I switched the 3D and the regular Blu-ray because, like, I don't have a 3D TV. 3D TVs ain't the thing no more. My mom has a 3D TV, so I guess unless I go over her house, like... That's the only reason I would ever watch this version. I did see the movie for the first time in 3D, so I already know what to expect. So that's why I'm really not too worried about watching it in 3D again, because I've seen it in 3D before. It's not a bad version of the movie. They actually utilize the 3D very well, but it's like I'm not really too worried about it. And then this is the DVD that also has the digital code for or the digital copy of it. But yeah. Step Up 3, personally my favorite of the series, and one that I look back on fondly. This is apparently another pre-owned version, but there actually isn't that much wear and tear, as you guys can see. The only wear and tear that I can see is, like, the corners of the slipcover. 
that's really the only place where I see any like wear and tear in there, if you guys can see it. But overall, whoever owned this took pretty good took pretty good uh care of it. So yeah. Next we have a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. I love the Harold and Kumar movies. They're some of my favorite comedies of all time. And this movie became basically another you know, you don't have to watch this movie during Christmas. I feel like it's one of those Christmas movies that you don't have to watch during Christmas, but it's better if you do. This, I'm, or I'll take out this digital code just in case nobody used it, but this is it. When I first opened the disc, I read the thing wrong, and I thought like, um, I thought the back was the extended version, because this is the extended version of the movie. I thought the front was the theatrical version, and the back was the unrated version, but actually the front is the the front is the blu-ray of the theatrical and unrated version while the dvd on the back cuz apparently it's like a blu-ray that also doubles as a dvd the dvd on the back is just the theatrical cut you don't really get to choose which version so yeah harold and kumar christmas I've heard that they're making a fourth movie, which they need to hurry up and do and make that the finale of the series, in my opinion. You know, I hate to see Harold and Kumar go, but at this point, y'all taking too long to make movies. And truth be told, we can't have these two going on crazy adventures forever. As much as I would love to see it, we can't always have them do it forever. So, yeah, this one is a movie that I watch every year for Christmas, definitely. But I don't feel like you have to watch it during Christmas, but it definitely does make it really good. And yeah, I still got to get the first two movies in the collection. So we'll have to see about that. Um, next, we have the Shrek series. And I made sure to get the six movie collection. Now, this this one, I was going to take a while to get because originally it was $60. Mm. So originally it was $60, but for this past weekend, I got this through Groove because they were only selling it for 30. It was like half off. So, you know, you get the original Shrek movies, one through four, and then you get Puss in Boots, the 2011 movie. And then you even get The Last Wish, which came out, I think, like a year or two ago. It comes with, you know, 11 shorts, basically the Shrek shorts that came with DVDs or either the ones that they showed on TV. And then you get a couple of episodes of the Puss in Boots Netflix series on here. So I would say this was a pretty good collection to get. Um, I'm going to just show you all this because this is the bonus disc that came with it. Yeah, that's basically the one with all the shorts and the TV show episodes on there. And then, oh, geez. And then here it is, basically the same cover as the slip cover. And then when you open it, I already used the digital code, so sorry to anybody that wants these movies. But there's Shrek 1, Shrek 2. I love how they all have their different colors and stuff like that. Shrek the 3rd. Shrek Forever After, and then the 2011 Puss in Boots, and then The Last Wish Puss, Puss, in, Puss in Boots. And the weird thing, so here's the weird thing. So they gave you the digital code to get these movies, right? It gave me every single movie, and I don't know if this is like on purpose or if there was some type of mess up, or I don't know what it was, but I did the digital code, I scanned it, and instead of giving me a digital version of Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, it actually gave me a digital version of Shrek the Musical. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but thanks. Thanks. Like, I wasn't really trying to get the musical, even though the musical isn't bad, but okay. And I have t I have two more movies that I forgot to grab. So let me go grab those. The last two movies that I got this month that completes another trilogy of movies in my collection is High School Musical 2 and High School Musical 3. Now, I think I told y'all before in one of my videos that like High School Musical, even though I don't like musicals, is definitely an iconic, you know, series of you know, my childhood and stuff like that. A lot of people in my age group grew up with these movies. And yeah, I bought both of these through 
Actually, I think I got this one on Amazon, and then I got this one through Mercari. Um, it's very hard to get the Blu-ray for this. It's not like the same case at the first movie where like it's hard to get it and it's expensive. This was just more hard to get. That's all it was. It's not really expensive. So when I saw that people were selling it on Mercari for like $14, I had to go get it. Now, I got the third movie first, but keeping up with the series. I'm going to get I'm going to show y'all this version first. Now, High School Musical 2 and 3 actually, both these movies are movies that I had on DVD growing up. My mom bought them for me, you know, um when I was growing up, but I lost the DVDs as usual. I don't know why I lost so many movies growing up, but yeah. I just this one actually just came in today, like earlier today. And there goes the inside, typical Blu-ray, you know, cover and stuff like that. But I do like how this one is more transparent than the other one. Yeah. And then Disney actually do provide like backgrounds to their Blu-ray. So I do like that cover. It's basically the end of the movie when they're singing all for one. And then is there a design on this side? Yeah. Just a couple of pictures and then the scene select thing. So that's pretty much all it is. High School Musical 2 was a really good movie. Actually, all three of them are really good movies, hence why I have the whole series. Y'all know how I rock. If I don't like a movie in the series, I'm just not going to buy it. But yeah, I liked all three of them. High School Musical 2 is a very close second to my favorite one. And like I said before, my favorite is the third movie, the third High School Musical. The, the back of it right there and then the inside now i actually had the blu-ray when i was younger but of course i lost it so here i am rebuying it as an adult right there that's the blu-ray um dang this thing oh okay i thought it was clip i thought it was stuck there's the dvd right there and then like i said i had this when i was younger so I did have the digital code with it. When my mom bought this one for me, she only bought the version with the Blu-ray and the digital code. So I do like that I also have the DVD here. Not that I'm much of a DVD person, but sometimes I do like having the DVDs as like a backup copy of the movie, I guess you could say. And here's a code to unlock the digital copy. So as y'all know, I be using my digital code. So I'm going to keep this. Um, Basically, this little booklet showing all the different Disney Channel DVDs and stuff like that. The little... Dang, this is taking me down memory lane. Because I actually had a couple of these DVDs growing up. A couple of the ones they have here, I had a couple of them. But of course, I lost it. Y'all know how I am. But there goes the background cover for that side. All of them dressed up for prom. And then for this side... This just looked like leftover photos from High School Musical 2, but yeah, that's the other side. And that's it for my September update for my Blu-ray collection. October, I'm probably not going to have as much. And this isn't just me saying like, oh, I'm probably not going to have as much. But then I wind up with a lot. Like, I'm probably not going to have as much movies to show off for October. But I will have something to show y'all off. Um... I, I bought a Blu-ray, somewhat like the case I had in the hat. I did buy a Blu-ray, but it's not going to come to my apartment until October. So I will have something to show off to y'all. But yeah, there we go. All the movies right here. Thumbnail purposes. Y'all know what I'm doing. So yeah, like I said, let me know down below what y'all think of these movies. And with all that being said, Tevin Jameer signing out. Catch y'all on the next one in October. Peace.